good afternoon. I will tell you something about situation with sustainable plastics in Croatia. I work at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering and Naval Architecture at University of Zagreb. So I'm not a chemist, I'm a mechanical engineer. Uh, first I will sell, tell you something about plastics production because bioplastics is part of plastics. And then something about the companies that uh, produce or should I say convert bioplastic materials. In fact, they are biodegradable polymers in Croatia. Then something about marine clean proje project that is funded by European Union and deals with also with biodegradable plastics. So something briefly just to see that we have adopted and we have available standards related to bioplastics and some activities and future plans. So I'm sure that you all know, but just to remind you where Croatia is. It is independent republic since 8th October 1991. We have total area of 87,000 and uh, some other kilo, uh, square kilometers. This is, of course, country in transition. And on 1st of July this year, we became the 28th member of European Union. Some economical indicators for uh, last year, we have population of 4.2 million uh, inhabitants. Capital is, of course, Zagreb. GDP at current prices is 43.6 billion euros, and GDP per capita is 10.3 thousand euros. What about creation plastics and rubber industry? It has once been a remarkable part of creation industry, but now it's dealing with a lot of issues and problems because a number of companies and employ employees and production have been really significantly reduced. But last indicators show a slowly, slow progress, uh, but I'm afraid to be optimistic. So, uh, production of plastics in Croatia started in 1945. It was six tons of phenolformaldehyde or becalite in chromos. Then in 1949 it was PVC. Uh, in 63, uh, low density polyethylene and polystyrene. Then in 74, rigid PVC. And in 95, new plant for low density polyethylene was built in uh, island Krk. We don't have PVC anymore, and you will see that we don't have anything anymore. So, what about production of plastic materials? There are three companies, and they employ over 1,000 employees. Uh, today's capacity is the largest one is Dioki, also Dina, that I said before, uh, that has plant in uh, Island Kirk, is part of the Dioki group and it can produce 150,000 tons of low-density polyethylene, 50,000 tons of polystyrene, and 15,000 tons of expanded polystyrene, but due to different problems, the Dioki is not producing anything right now. So employees are in waiting. How long will they wait? I don't know. So uh, second company is Chromos. Uh, they can produce 20,000 tons of unsaturated polyesters, acrylic and alkyd resins, polyol and vinyl esters, and the third one is oleolic, 3,500 tons of rigid and flexible polyurethane foams. Here you see the last 12 years of production of plastics, and you can see the steep fall from uh, uh, 370,000 tons in 1990 to 22,000 tons in, uh, in the last year. It's 15 times less. Export, you see that uh, once we exported more than imported, but now because of the stopover of the production of the oak, you see that we don't export plastic materials anymore, but we import much, much more. But we also have converters and processors, and there are six, uh, 628 companies, uh, over 6,000 employees. Uh, 
45% are actually uh, involved in processing of plastics and rubber, and some other companies are registered in completely different industrial branches, but they also uh, have plastic processing as their basic activity. And it is really fragmented industry because 97% of them are small companies and only two big companies according to creation accounting law. And we also have over 1,000 craftsmen. Here you can see that we also uh, import uh, much more plastic products than we export. 2008 was the good year, but after that, uh, less and less. Uh, a little bit better situation is in the production of plastic and rubber parts, but because you can see slow progress, but if you compare the, uh, the data uh, in 1990, when there were 125,000 tons produced of finished plastic products, now we are not reached this amount yet and rubber parts have significantly decreased from 37,000 tons to 1.7 thousand tons. What are the end use applications for plastics process in Croatia? Mainly profiles, pipes and sheet, uh, nearly 50%, then packaging of course 30%, some building products and other. Uh, what about bioplastics? Well, we have two companies that deal with bioplastic, mainly biodegradable. Uh, plastics. Uh, the first one is called Ecocortec and it's situated in the east of the country in Belly Manastir. And uh, they manufacture biodegradable films and bags. But I shall point out that their main, they, they don't just uh, manufacture biodegradable films and foils, but also polyethylene films and foils. Uh, they specialized in uh, vapor phase corrosion inhibitors. Uh, so the, the, these films, polyethylene films, are used for protecting metal uh, machines, goods, etc. So to prevent, in order to prevent corrosion, they have also have a patent in biodegradable polyester films with these corrosion inhibitors. Uh, they have three three types of biodegradable plastics. Uh, trade trademark names are Eco Ocean, Eco Works, and Eco Film. Uh, First one is marine degradable film based on uh, polyhydroxy alkanates. Then uh, second one is biodegradable and compostable film based on uh, polylactate. And the third one is fossil based biodegradable and compostable plastics. Uh, last month or in the very recently, they have expanded uh, much because they invested three million euros and they uh, bought uh, new equipment for tubular extrusion and for confectioning and also expanded their warehouses, but I'm not sure in which direction they will go on biodegradable, biodegradable uh, films or polyethylene films. Uh, the second company is called Weltplast, and it, is, it has two affiliations in Croatia and in Bosnia and Herzegovina. They mainly produce uh, plastic pipes for transportation of uh, water and gas, but they also have a biodegradable program. Uh, it's called EcoWelt, and it is uh, mainly biodegradable fossil-based uh, plastics, plastic bags. Uh, you can also buy in our a large uh, supermarket uh, chain, you can buy uh, their biodegradable bag for around half an euro. But uh, when the bag is torn and you cannot use it anymore, then you bring it back to the store and the store will give you a new one without any charge. And of course, these bags that are collected, uh, then uh, the company, uh, collects them and uh, sends them to composting. Uh, something about project Marine Clean. Uh, the full name of the project is Marine Debris Removal and Preventing Further Litter Entry. It is a uh, uh, competitiveness and innovation program, eco-innovation, it started in uh, three years ago. Well, the project started two years ago. 
and coordinator is from Slovenia, but uh, partners are from Croatia and Lithuania. Uh, so the start of pro uh, project was 1st November 2011 and duration is so it will be uh, over next year. Project budget is something over 1 million euros and you can see that there are three areas of work in this project and one of them is edible and biodegradable food packaging and because the partner of the, in the project is EcoCortec uh, that I explained um, before. I should also stress out that uh, the, they only uh, process the biodegradable materials, but the biodegradable materials are produced in their parent company in USA. It's called Cortec. But the quantities are not uh, very large because uh, only 20 tons per year for USA and for Croatia uh, produced. So EcoOcean is polyhydroxybutyrate base, has polyhydroxybutyrate base, and it contains 77% uh, of biobased material, and it degrades in nearly every environment, in seawater, anaerobic environment, municipal compost, soil and water. And we wanted to uh, perhaps produce uh, some packaging made of this material, uh, but we, and we succeeded, uh, for example, by injection molding, but we wanted to see if the material is suitable for the direct contact with food. So we gave the material to Croatian um, uh, public health institution and they tested overall migration and specific migrations and uh, if the material is suitable for direct contact with food. Testing was carried out on a foil according to uh, European regulations. Uh, Microbiological purity was okay. Test specimen corresponded to the regulations for the direct contact with food because there were no isolated all these uh, unpronounceable bacteria. Uh, regarding overall migration, uh, tests were done with, uh, so solution was acid, neutral and fatty, and uh, threshold limit value is 10 milligrams per square decimeter, and as you can see, uh, uh, the material is not suitable for <coughs> direct contact, contact with acid food because overall migration is much higher than uh, threshold limit value, it's 10, and here it is 180. Also, uh, we tested specific migrations, and here you can see that everything is much less okay, but unusual high level of strontium. strontium. Uh, so how can it be explained? I'm not sure because I'm not a chemist and here are some possible explanations because it contains sugars, uh, strong uh, hydroxide dissolved in water produces strong alkaline, etc. So, et or perhaps because uh, various marine degradable additives are added to the material. We asked the producers of the material but they didn't, they weren't able to explain why such a uh, high level of strontium. Here are some standards that are available in Croatia. As you can see, uh, every standard st uh, that is uh, in European uh, Union is also applicable in Croatia, but I'm not sure that any laboratory can actually perform these uh, tests. Here are just listed. And what about activities and future plans? Well, uh, I am an editor of a um, column in journal, our journal, Creation Plastics and Rubber Journal, it's called uh, Polymery, and I usually have a column about bioplastics. Also last year uh, we had first 
conference dedicated uh, exclusively to bioplastics. It was organized by Society of Plastics and Rubber en Engineers. It's also the publisher of the, our journal Polymedi. Uh, Dr. Herjan was uh, at the conference. He was giving the presentation. Uh, he had a presentation. Also, uh, setting up National Focal and Info Point about bioplastics in, is in progress. I'm working on it. And I also heard that the Croatian Chamber of Economy is planning a strategy regarding bioplastics in the near future. They should have uh, had a meeting uh, last month, but they didn't. So if I, when I will know something about it, I will inform you. So that's all. If you have any questions, you're welcome.